What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and welcome to the Jerry Judy Film Breakdown. Jerry Judy is probably the best route runner in college football and probably the best receiver in college football. Going to be a first-round draft pick, so I wanted to break down some of this footage that you guys maybe have seen before, maybe you've not, of him running routes. So let's get right into it. So this first play right off the bat, Judy's got a post over the middle here. Now, as you can see off the snap of the ball, his pad level doesn't change. He explodes out right here. He's going full speed, sticks it in the ground, accelerating out of this break guys that's what a lot of you young receivers don't do is you'll make this stick and you'll slow down judy's coming here and he's pumping his arms he's going full speed now what this stick does here is this is aggressive sudden and he's accelerating out it gets this db on his heels here guys that's where we want to be we want to get this db on his heels so when it is time to react here when it's time to react he can't, he can't react to our route because at the end of the day, it's a race to the ball. Who's going to get to the ball faster? Is it going to be the receiver or the is it going to be the receiver or is it going to be the DB? As you can see, Hertz is letting this thing go early. Who's getting there first? It's Judy all day long. All right, let's get to the next clip. All right, so in this clip right here, Judy's going to be working this release. He's got this sudden one-two double move off the line. So he's coming here. One two, so he's a little bit, a little bit of a hesitation off the line. One two, sudden. Now, what that does is that gets this DB on his heels, and as you can see, he's worked to this inside right here. His DB's all the way on this left leg. That's where all of his weights shifted because this aggressive one two sent him to the inside. A lot of you receivers will come off this line, and your one two won't be as aggressive. It will be just kind of moved in place here, and Judy really makes that sudden movement to the inside which is what gets him some separation here okay now when the db the db got he got him to hop back which already gave him a second of pretty much just separation that he could get now when the ball's coming see how judy doesn't look back for this ball till he's got a step on this guy he didn't start looking right here at the 40 he started looking once he got a step on this db right here that's where we need to be guys we need to shoot our head around once we get some separation especially when you get to that next level when you're not at high school where the quarterback waits 20 minutes before he gets the ball out shoot your head around this quarterback's going to give you some air now another thing i want to point out here about this deep ball is look how when the ball's coming a little bit of a push off there see how his hands are late he shows his hands late. He's not showing his hands. His hands don't go up right here, and he's waiting for this ball to come down right now. He shows his hands completely late because the DB is going to be playing his hands. So he shows these hands late, and then as you can see, this guy's reacting to his hands right now, but he can't do it because Judy showed those hands late, and that's what led to this completion and then ultimately a score. All right, so this next one right here. Now, he kind of – DB played this release pretty well here. He gives him a slide to the inside, one, two. Now, Judy does a great job here of moving his whole body, but this DB is a well-trained DB. He's not going to give up the inside. He's taking, he's forcing him to work back outside. Judy tries to set him up with this one, two, with this one, two here to move him to the inside, but that doesn't work very well because this DB is a good DB. Slide, one, two. Now, you see how he's moving his whole body on this release. Yes, it didn't really work. It didn't get this DB off platform, but that's great technique off of this release, moving his entire body, being real sudden with his feet. Now, DB played this well, as you can see here, working up field, shoots his head around once he gets some separation. He knows he's got him. He gets his head around. This ball's coming in again. Look at this. Late hands. Doesn't give the DB any time to react. The DB's playing his eyes. He sees his eyes start to get real wide. Then he starts to stick his hands up. But he has no idea where this ball is coming because Judy's showing late hands here. You always want to have late hands over the top, guys. You don't want to show your hands too early because that's what the DB is going to play. You always want to have late hands, much like Judy does right here. And nice and easy for the score. All right, now this is a practice rep right here, guys. Now... Judy is one of those guys that he doesn't mess around and all of you don't really do a lot of receivers tend to do drill work where it's just an obstacle course you got 20 different ladders 20 different sets of cones this is a drill he's just working his routes and this is why he's so dynamic because he doesn't train on anything that wouldn't help him in the game so he's coming here he's got this three-step release one two three out in back out his real his feet are real sudden as you can see this coach is acting as the db he doesn't do this in place right here he doesn't make this release in place he closes this gap between him and the coach one two three 
gets over the top and restacks him here. Okay, now I know this is just a practice rep, but it's good to practice good habits like that. Closing the distance, three real sudden steps. Now he works up field. Now he works this rocker step right here. Now one, two. Now about this rocker step, you see how his body is working this way while his feet are working this way that's what's going to get you separation because in a game time situation this guy's going to be trailing him and when he's trailing him here this sudden move to the outside is going to get this db to fly outside fast right now because his body's taking him there or what it's going to do is it's going to set up like he's just running this post break and the db is going to fly inside and same thing judy brings his whole body on this second step of the rocker which would get him separation in a game time situation. And that's why you need to work situations like this in practice, guys. Now, again, he's working what he's going to be doing in the game. He's not shooting his head around right when he makes the break. He's gaining some separation from this break here. He's coming up, and now he's looking. He makes this break. Now he's looking for the ball because he's focused on getting separation and then finding this ball. That's what you guys need to be focused on as well. All right, next clip. Now, Judy's working the snap down. If you guys have been following me, you guys know that I'm a big believer in this snap down. I'm a big believer in that's how you get out of this break fast. And this is a drill work that he's working. Game time situation. Again, not an obstacle course drill. So he bursts up. One, two, sudden. You see how violent his hips are here. That's what you need to get separation on if you're running like a curl or a dig with these hips. He comes up. One, two, violent hips here. Running up. One, two. That's how fast your hips need to be. That's how aggressive they need to be for you to be able to get in and get out of this break effectively because this snap down is to help with you selling the fade. And as you can see, he's bursting up here. One, two, same thing again. You're selling the fade and you give him these aggressive two steps that's going to get him on his heels. And if we can accelerate out of the break like I was talking about previously in this video, that's what's going to get us some separation. So let's get to the next one. All right, so this is a nice little release Judy does off of here. He's working a comeback route. So as you can see, one, two, three. So speed, this first step is to set up a speed release. Like he's just going speed release right now, putting his foot in the ground, and then he's getting up outside just trying to run right by him. Now he brings this second step through here, and he's real sudden with this one, two, which as you can see, shoots this DB inside. That's why sudden feet is so important, guys. We need to have sudden feet. Sudden feet is the most important thing. So one, two, three, shoots this DB inside. Now, this DB could have played it better, obviously, but we're not focused on the DB today. We're focusing on Judy. So he's bursting up now. As you can see, he's selling this fade fast. A DB isn't trained. You, DBs train a lot of in this five-yard range right here. They'll work their cone drills, and they work exchanging out of the five yards. But anytime you get more than five yards, that's a DB's range where he's not going to be as good transitioning out of this thing. So if we could sell the fade up to 10, snap down, right here so you look at this aggressive snap down step two three and he's coming right out of this break now this one two three here that he does one two three that's fast guys that's what gets you out of the break a lot of you see how his foot placement these second two steps of the snap down are taking him back downhill guys that's where we want to be we want to be taken back downhill with our second two steps on the snap down when it's three steps because that's what's going to get our head around fast and as you can see how fast his head shoots around because the ball's coming the quarterback's going to have great timing especially at this level and as you can see the db is flying way up field but he goes one two three two threes turning him back down on this 45 catch burst up field now this drill work that he's doing right now is in the sand also really good we're talking about the snap down right one two three three steps even in the sand work he could get he could get his hips a little bit lower obviously on this but one two three accelerating out of this break that's why he's so fast out of his brakes you guys see you love to watch the videos of him running routes but wh why is he so good at it this is why he's running routes one two three and he's fast out of there. Yes, his hips could be a little bit more violent. He could sink a little bit more. But it's sand work, and I don't know what kind of rep this is. I don't know if this is the 20th rep or the first rep. But you see the steps that he's taking right here. One, two, three. And he's accelerating out. He's running out of this break. He's not just standing up and cruising out of it. He's running out of it because he understands that's what's going to get him separation in a game time situation. And same thing back around here. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Catch this ball burst up field now last route of the day that we're going to be breaking down 
Judy's coming off this line. He does a great job of doing this pressure step to the inside. Now, what this pressure step does is it works this DB completely inside here. So Judy's able to come back up around. DB's all turned around on this thing. And he's able to score for this touchdown. He has the speed turn out of there. Judy looks. He gives the quarterback his eyes when he's got some separation from this guy. And the quarterback's able to just throw him open. I'm pretty sure it was Tua. Tua is able to throw him open and give him a good ball in the back of this end zone. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave in the comments who you guys would like to see me break down next. That would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time.